let's go into the uh, military action game because I want to do that with you guys. So okay. that was one of the funnest times. And this time I've altered it a little bit. Yes, we know, Eric. The struggle is real. The struggle to tolerate your internet connection is very real. Oh, here we go. So, uh, okay, one of the things, one of the funnest things we did last uh, year was a military auction game. So while we have Eric for five minutes, let's uh, uh, let's do uh, our new revamped military auction game. Eric, can you hear us? I can. All right, you ready? Look, I even made a. Uh, I even made a little. Oh Ooh, my! Like that, huh? You like that? Look at this. You probably don't. So that's awesome. It's beautiful. All right, first lot. Now you got to tell me which item sold for the most. Okay. Fifty. All right. Hmm. All right. So. So. The first. Are you going to go through the items? I am. So the first one is either one hundred sleeping mats. Right, thirty-six large field packs, or fifty-two wet weather poncho liners. All hmm. right. So you gotta tell me which do you think sold for the most? Who's going first? Uh, on my screen, I show Mike on top, so Mike goes first. I'm going with the poncho liners. People actually want those things. Okay, Mike's with the poncho liners. Jake. Man, that's a good good call. Those snuggies are uh, <laughs> are good. Poncho liners is one of the better things that the military ever invented. Yeah, you know, I do give them that. <clears throat> well, man, I'll, I'll go with the backpacks then. Uh, you you can take just to thing. make it. There's no restriction. I know, but that's it. not fun. Oh, that's not okay. fun for me. <laughs> Well, I would say the worst thing they ever made was sleeping mats. That's the yeah, most. I'm looking useless. at that, and it looks like a yeah. But if you have towel. if you have cold hard ground versus a half inch, I, I, of I get it. Polystyrene to sleep. I slept on that shit, and yeah, it still sucked. Yeah, the I poncho agree. liner was the best thing around. But you know what? For a hundred sleeping mats, I'm going to take the hundred sleeping mats. We'll all oh, go. Damn. All right. Oh. Let's see. All right. So I've done this a little bit different. So. But but we're all in agreement. The no. poncho liners are by far the best thing that. Oh, we, I agree. Yeah, this oh, well, yes. three things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if we had to buy any of these, regardless of price, I'd go poncho. <laughs> oh, liners. poncho liners are warmest. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. So the thirty-six large field packs sold for three hundred five dollars. The poncho liners sold for three hundred twenty dollars. Yes. Are the sleeping mats more or less? Less. It's going to be more. Oh, yeah, they're less. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Three hundred and fifty dollars for the sleeping mats. <laughs> and Eric. No, nice. by default, though, none of us <laughs> wanted Sucker those. Every day. <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous. Ah, oh, oh. the squirrel found another. All right, next Ooh. lot. And Eric just froze up. Come on back, Eric. Oh, okay, good. I'm good. 21 fart sacks or sleeping bags, right? <laughs> 62 plastic water cans or one medium tent. All right, Jake, you're up first. Right. Um... Going with the sleeping bags. Sleeping bags for Jake. Eric? I'm going with the tent. Yeah, see, that would be smart. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mike he basically just went wrong. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, you Mike, got the wrong thing, the Eric. Tent. Don't choose the tent. Well, well the. Uh... The uh, the water cans are something that's actually kind of hard to get a hold of. And if you can get a hold of a lot of 62 and it's going in an auction, you know, guys that like run Jeeps out in the desert and stuff like that are probably going to want those so they can resell them on eBay and whatnot. That's um, true because there's a whole four by four community. But, that, but then they've gone to all those slim 
fuel cans and water cans, but you're right. Yeah, there, there's there's other options, but I mean, yeah. these things are, you know, if you're if you're building an old school Jeep or if you're just an old school dude, you're probably going to want those uh, water cans. So since it's an auction, I'm going with the water cans. All right. Here's the here's the prices sold. Seven hundred and ten dollars for twenty one. Twenty one. I know. Seven hundred fifty five no. for the water can. Gentlemen, is the tent more four hundred dollars for seven hundred and five dollars for the tent the water cans uh, wins thank you jeep community <laughs> no way <laughs> i know look at 755 755 for 62 water cans i, I, I it's, can't it's believe the weirdest thing why would you want them you know i guess it's all i i have a feeling it's all pawn shop guys or uh you know military yeah. surplus guys uh, but there could be some free men up in North Dakota who are just like perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Think well, about it. You could buy oil California sleeping bags <laughs> and a hundred sleeping mats with twenty five ponchos and be golden. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, but you'd have no <laughs> water. Shit you'd about have no cans. water. You'd have you no live water. off the land. You go find your water. All right, here oh, we go. You know what it was? Also, never mind. I'm not revealing my <laughs> secret. <laughs> So, okay, all that stuff that you just said, but now they need something to fight with, Eric. Oh, now they need oh, this is to all fight with. Pennsylvania too. So, forty-six swords and scabbards, Ooh. or thirty-one combat knives, like a Rambo knife with sheaths. Those would look like the old K bars. Or yeah, sixty-one bayonet knives, bayonets. They even have the ring on there where they go for uh, mm -hmm. go over, uh, over the rifle. All right. Eric, you're first on this one. I am going the 61 bayonets because they're the most useful out of all that shit. That's <laughs> what? what I think. How is a bayonet more useful than a knife or a sword? It's, it's a K-bar. It's a piece of garbage. Those things oh, broke. Yeah. The blades broke. Throw the bayonets. I, I Everybody the on the bayonet street knows K-bars are trash. They're trash. Everybody Long on the block knows all that. All the <laughs> Plus, yeah, but you can... got a you got a cavalry sword over there. Long I'm reach. not even look at that. Those are those are freaking. All right, toys, Eric's man. Eric's committed to the bayonets. I'm committed to right. bayonets. Um, so, Mike, I'm going with the swords. Um, those sorry. are those are very useful in like recreation. <laughs> exactly yeah and Look, people it's... people pay out the you can get the you can get the k-bars and the shitty combat knives and bayonets yeah. at any tom dick or harry surplus store for five bucks those swords would be hard to come by and you can't especially even get in those... condition yeah you Look can't it. even it's get chambersburg like a... pennsylvania a lot That's of perfect. civil war recreation i got a sword hanging yeah. on my wall for crazy a lot crazy. of sword fighting in that <laughs> area retirement gift you can get them at walmart for christ's sakes Mike's going with the authentic. sword. What do you got, Jake? <laughs> I got the combat knives with combat sheaths. Knives. That's 31 of them, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's low, though. I mean, that's not a good quantity. No, it's not. But Story Swords says. and Scabbards sold oh, for 1515 So 1515 for the Swords and Scabbards. Wow. Combat knives, 1565 no. Jesus. <laughs> Holy and the bayonet shit. sold for sixteen. Holy shit! That's right. Go recreate with that sword. Put it on a fucking crayon. <laughs> oh my. I would uh, bayonets. You gotta have a rifle for a bayonet. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's two. That's boys. what they sold for. Two. All right, we're heading into the funner final. Are we getting bonus points for second? Because I've been second every time. So <laughs> yeah, I haven't even been tallying second. I should have been. Too bad. <laughs> Oh, you're good. All right, a 1989 bass boat, a Sea Arc bass boat, or a 2017 travel trailer with one slide sleeps three people, once a single slide out. Oh, right, got the slide out and everything, huh? Okay, <laughs> that'll make a difference, <laughs> Eric. Based on your region. You think that would be a hot commodity down there? Oh, I'm thinking it would. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or the one... only thing sliding out in this area is my trailer. <laughs> 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 All 
<laughs> well, you got three people to slide out in that zone. Uh, mm -hmm. Or one Talon 4 tactical robot. Now, this is a remote operator controlled unit. 100 pound payload capacity, 200 pound drag capacity. Robotic arm, Damn. 52 inch horizontal reach. Right? Hmm. It's got a gripper, 40 pound gripper capacity. So, so you got a bass boat, an 89. That's an old bass boat, but an 89 yep. bass boat, a 2017 travel trailer, or a Talon 4 tactical robot. That bass boat is a sea arc, though. The sea arc. Yeah. And <laughs> it's more <laughs> useful, man. The boat can still do a lot of shit. Uh, Am I going uh, first, Marty? Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, Mike goes first. Oh, nice. I'm going with the robot. Damn it, man. Robot. Good call. You can choose the same thing. It's no, we can't. Thing. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that robot. That robot's got to be like 20 grand. Thing. And well, that's I mean, I, I guess brand new, but you got to think that stupid travel trailer was probably used by uh, by the uh, a bunch of drunk airmen. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it was it was, it was oh, set yeah. there, and you know, hundreds of families have slept in that damn thing. So there's probably bugs and all sorts of shit. You know, you're gonna get in there and get syphilis, and it's then that boat has probably got a big hole in the bottom. Look at the rust on it. Yeah, that's true. It's nice, but it has a it's a with snowbird, trailer. Yeah, with trailer man from Indiana coming to Florida to hang out. All right, Jake, Indiana. what do you got? I'm going with the rusty boat. <laughs> I'm going with the old sea arc. You know, that boat served you well last time, actually. I know. <laughs> uh, uh, Eric, okay. what do you got? I was going to go boat. Since we can't do that, I guess I am going with the... <laughs> you can Palomino, pick whatever you want. Jake Trump does not apply to anybody but Jake. I'm going <laughs> with the trailer just to spite you. All right. That's, that, sounds, oh, that, trailer. that sounds like our podcast. All right. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we you go. Might, you might win just based on that, too. <laughs> the robot was $6,200. Who has wow. $6,200 to spend? They needed on... a 40 pound gripper capacity on that robot. <laughs> 200 yeah. pound this... drag capacity. I've got $6,200. I'm a bass that boat oh, sold for $6,202. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> You know that's the exact response from the guy that bid six thousand two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy's like six thousand two hundred. Son two. of a bitch! I'm tapped at six thousand two hundred. Mother. <laughs> and the travel trailer went for six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, again, Eric won by default because of Jake's rules. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man my god that is you got oh my god you lucked into that one people I just can't believe the robot that. was so inexpensive they <laughs> said they auctioned a, a lot of robots and it's like where they get why are they putting all these robots up for auction I well they probably get sold to uh local governments or something like that so they're really? selling them in you know so they're Oscar. making a, a shitload of them and they're like oh Ukraine, you didn't want a thousand of these. You only wanted like five hundred. All right, we'll auction the rest. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're right. the maintenance on that freaking thing. It goes dead. It's like uh, we're never going to get it running again. <laughs> oh, did you overcharge you know the battery? Damn it! I told you not to overcharge. Leave it overnight. Six thousand two hundred fifty is a small price to pay for a full size house in La Place, Louisiana. And that's only six years old. Full size house. That's only six, or that's seven years. Place old. Louisiana. Yeah, that's right. Throw and some I'm gonna cinder triple blocks toe. on that thing. I'm gonna you're triple good. toe. I'm gonna pull my trailer and that piece of shit boat, and we're gonna go to Louisiana. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you. You, <laughs> you can fill it up with your goddamn bayonets. <laughs> oh, that's no gonna shit. be a mess. That's gonna be a All mess right. shed. Uh, oh, the next lot. 1999 60k generator set mm. all right are these in the same they're not i found category. the prices and i put them together <laughs> i know but that's what's crazy is like they're close to the same price yeah it's they're all close to the same price a 2017 club car carry all 700 golf cart oh important right. in orlando or, florida 
That's a hot commodity. A life, a good a life fitness 95p power mill climber. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Jake, you're up first. Tough call here, yeah. Jake. Um, Generator, golf cart, or a stair stepper? I want that <laughs> golf cart in Florida. That's a hot commodity, man. And look at that sweet bumper on there. I know. <laughs> yeah. You could tear up that retirement village in that puppy. You could push Welcome. all the trash cans over. Oh, Welcome yeah. look to it, the it, villages, baby. It looks like it's got an extended bed. You could have like all kinds of stuff back there. Margaritaville has nothing on that. That's, that would be, uh, you'd be envious if you drove oh, that around. Yeah. You'd be envied. Oh. Eric, what do you got? Dude, I am going with the altitude stepper. No doubt about it. Piece of equipment's amazing. Let's get that. <laughs> I, I want that generator to that. win. <laughs> but... Mike, you don't have to play Jake's rules if you, you don't, don't want to, but he will shame you into playing Jake's rules. <laughs> no, my thinking was I've been I've been very pragmatic with the rest of my choices. So I try to think of which one I wanted the least. Oh. And it's the golf cart. Oh so, so that's I'm going what you're golf choosing? Cart. Yep. Oh, you're going golf cart. Golf cart. Because it's the least oh. he wants, the one he doesn't that, want. That generator's gonna win. Ugh. That generator's nice. It's That's too it's, practical. It's too it's practical. Too practical. All the practical I agree. Ones. That generator has less hours on it than the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 596 right. hours on the golf cart. That's probably 476 right. on that generator. That's, it's That's mint. crazy. That is mint. Well, that's miles on the golf cart. 3, generator oh, set sold for 3,000. Oh, the yeah. golf cart sold no. for three thousand. <laughs> There's no way that treadmill's going for three grand. The yeah, climber baby. sold for three thousand and five for the stair stepper. <laughs> Eric, how are you so good at this? This is crazy. the old power mill ninety five. Got now, not only, not only am I triple towing, I'm taking my own exercise equipment to Louisiana with that me. That is ridiculous. How me. much does a brand new one of those cost? They're expensive. I, I don't know. I didn't think they were that expensive. Like, I mean, these five, are. Six, this yeah. isn't. I, I said stair stepper, really? but it's not. It's the rotating steps. It's oh the bigger, yeah, the yeah. bigger thing. But and that's in that's in Nevada. Who's getting in shape in Nevada? Oh, <laughs> all the dirty girls paying for college. Hey they now, them glutes, they, man, they dance. Them glutes. To, they dance to stay in shape, right? All the dirty girls. Man, they I got to clamp onto that pole. I've contributed <laughs> to many college funds in my life, so I hope I hope they've all got a degree by now. All right, Mike's last lot. Up. <laughs> I'm gonna send you guys some stair climbers Ooh. for Christmas next. Week. Okay, Ooh. here we oh. go. 2017 Polaris D4 side by side. That oh. would that is awesome looking. That's that a race. Cool. I don't know if it's tactical, but it looks tactical. It the looks... dune buggy, right? The padding in that looks like instant Hemi's, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I mean, all these are instant Well, Hemis. yeah, exactly. That's true. <laughs> or a 2008 Humvee four-door hardtop with truck body. That's oh. a piece of garbage. All right. <laughs> or a 2005 Peterbilt 6x4 cab and chassis. Hmm. That that Peterbilt has a whole lot of miles on it. 182,000. Oh, that's miles. not a lot. That's a yeah, that's, that's, that's nothing. right. That's not nothing on a Peterbilt, man. No. Uh-uh. The uh, Humvee has 4900 miles for being uh what? 15, 16 years old now? That's yeah. probably the one that got stolen from the California Guard, too. <laughs> Could have been. That'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, <'cause> it's been <laughs> out of service for a while. With it now. Might yeah, as well exactly. Lock it. Yep. Uh, and the Polaris has 139 hours, which is nothing. That's nothing on that thing. Yeah, That's why would you sell it? We put some more comfortable seats in it and let's go. How do they get 139 hours, but it's a diesel engine? That's what threw me. So hmm. I guess that's it's idling diesel. hours, I suppose. Yeah, diesel engine. Oh, nice. So 
Uh, the Humvee has a 6.5 liter diesel. Uh, and the Peterbilt has a 13.6 cylinder, 12.5 liter diesel. All diesels. 525 horsepower. horsepower. That side by sides in Georgia. Oh, you know mm, there's some all. country boys that want to jack around in that thing. <laughs> all right, yeah. last lot. Eric, all you the got... shit we can winch with that, Glenn. Got... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what a George exit says. We, like. we can we can shoot. There's no doors on it. We can just, just shoot, shoot right out, right from there, <laughs> right, from right our, out the front, right from our lap. <laughs> you can tell you're from Oregon, son. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> All, All right, right, Eric. So, what do you got? My head tells me it's the Peterbilt, but because it's been so generic, I'm gonna go with the Polaris. Oh man, Eric chooses the side by side. Yeah, Marty, is there crazy. a rear view of the Peterbilt? Does it have like the chrome fat chick mud flaps on it? <laughs> <laughs> That's an instant winner in my. Mind. I think it had uh, Yosemite <laughs> Sam's on it. Oh, uh, yeah, that was your 77. Back off. Back off. <laughs> It'd be great if it had, like, ass, gas, or grass. No yeah. one rides for no free. No rides for there. free, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. But the silver the silver stripper is always a classic. That's true. Yeah. Mike, what do you got? Well, for me, my instinct wants to go with the Peterbilt as well because you could make money with it. Yeah. But there's a lot of morons who would really want that Polaris side-by-side. -side. So I'm going with the side-by-side. -side. Okay. Man. Fish Jake. what I wanted. I wanted that Peterbilt. 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 You go with that. You go with the Peterbilt. Oh yeah, it's got differential lock. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Yeah, if you know anything about semi trucks, <laughs> you know you want some differential lock. It's probably an air horn too. Air All horn. right, here's the price it's sold for. Side by side, Ooh, sold for forty thousand two hundred dollars. That's Those a boys good down looking in thing, Georgia. but not for forty thousand dollars. Golly, boy! Forty thousand. The Humvee sold for forty thousand one hundred dollars. Oh man! Okay. Uh, cheap and ass. And the Peterbilt sold for hey, this is forty thousand oh. dollars <laughs> to make oh. the winner the Polaris. <laughs> nice. How oh, are God. you so gifted at this game, Eric? I don't I, understand you know, it. Just flip a coin. God bless. Oh, man. Eric, years of experience. Impressive. Jake, yeah. you had nothing right. Uh, none. Yeah. None. And, none. But I got second every time except for that that's last true. time. Yeah, so, true. you know, I'll take silver, man. I'm good. Uh, Well, you got not even silver because Mike got well, two okay. right. Fine. Mike C's for right. degrees. And Eric got five. Five of hey, six. Nice. And one of those you were forced into it. Yeah. He was not forced into Didn't anything. Get to pick it. I don't, I don't get you could have picked whatever you wanted. You can tell he felt the pressure. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There was a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. I like the experience comment. It's just because I've been around. Oh, here we go. Well done. Well done. Eric. I mean, seriously. That was that was good. I've been was... around. I bought some bullshit in my day. <laughs> Well, I still can't believe the bayonets won that shit, dude. Oh, that was a lot of money for some bayonets. That the, have your bayonet. the the sleeping mats first. I was like, "Are you serious? Who's paying?" I mean, you could go buy a sheet of foam for cheaper <laughs> yeah. than you could right? buy those sleeping mats for, right? Yeah, yeah, but those could be rare. You know, they they probably get eaten up in storage. And yeah, if you're yeah, you know like be, a true. Yeah. The person who's trying to collect shit and stuff like that, you probably want something in good repair. But it could be. It makes no sense to me, but whatever. Because in the Army, that's part of what they call the TA-50, or they used to call it TA-50, initial issue. So you go three or four years with that foam stuff, and you got to go turn it into when you turn in all your equipment. Just trash. And yours is like eaten by rats or ripped oh. in half or yeah. – you know, El Kabonged yeah. over some drunken guy's head, and you're like, "Fuck, you gotta go buy." It. So this surplus guy is like, "Hey, shit, I'll I make money off of these things." Yeah, yeah. probably. They are I mean, garbage. Give me a hundred of these now. things, I'll make twice what I paid for. Oh, I didn't even think of that angle. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, some of those prices, it's it's just amazing going through some of that stuff. 